Hello everybody. Today I want to show you what I did with my paper pumpkin from the month of May. And with this kit you can make six of these cute little cards for happy birthday. And then you can make four of these oh, super cute um, bags that comes with the t-shirt and everything that you need to make these cute projects. And it comes with instructions, a stamp, um, ink, everything that you need, dimensionals, everything. But um, for my Paper Pumpkin subscribers and for you, I alternate my Paper Pumpkin kit um, to different projects. So just to give you different ideas of how to um, change your Paper Pumpkin if you like. And this project will take you, it's very easy to make, it will go really fast if you want to make it just the way it is. Or if you want to make the different projects that I'm going to show you, it will take you a little bit longer. But and the thinking part I already did it for you, so you can just copy it, and that will be great. That's the reason why I make this. And for my first time subscribers, and you right now is an offer going on is fifty percent for your first two kits. So instead of getting the twenty dollars deal, you get ten dollars deal, and it includes shipping, no contracts. You can skip or cancel your paper banking anytime you want, and you get everything um, that you need to make the project for that month, including in your kit. So you don't have to worry about extra stuff. But if you do want to change your paper punk a little bit, you will have to get some a little bit of extra stuff. Uh, usually trying to get used what we have in the paper pumpkin kit. But um, if you don't have it, that's okay. You can just do your kit how it is. So one of the things that you need to know, and um, with the stamps right here, and there are, I cannot even say the name for this kind of stamp. So it's just called stamps. And one of the tips that I actually always remember my customers is that when you have a, a, a picture like this and it's bold, you do want to use your pierce mat and your pierce mat because this one is going to help to make a really crisp, nice, smooth stamp when you stamp on your paper. If you don't own one of these, um, you may want to try something very smooth but steady on your table because of, and otherwise you will leave like it, you won't like it. So when you see stamps, just normal like letters and things like that, don't worry about it. But when you have one like this, you do want your pierce mat, okay? And so let's start with the bags. So for the bags, you can make four of these ones. And I have one tip with the tissue. You get two tissue papers for each bag. So what I did, I to fit in my bag, what I did, I just, your bag will come, your tissue will come folded like this. So what I did, I just folded in half an inch and then fold it in half. And then I trim it two inches from the top. That way my tissue will stay still will fit exactly right there where I want it. You can put some glue so it can stay and glue to the bag and do not move. For this kind of bag, I'm not planning to use my second tissue because um, it's closed and I can just put a gift in there. But I made another bag like this that opens it up like the ones that you buy at Walmart. And for this one, I did trim it like, it, like I said before. And for this one, I do plan to use my second, uh, my second tissue paper. Now, and for the other bag, I'm still working on it. So I'm just going to make another one just like this. And for the other bag that I, because it comes to, for number four, I make a cute little project for my mom. This is my mom's paper pumpkin kit, and I work on, on hers every month. So what I did, I made this cute little bag um, card holder or purse, a little bag. So I trim it a little bit more, a little bit like I think it's one and a half inches on top of the, but the highest balloon. I cut it and I make two little uh, holes with my puncher and I use my twine for the handles. And I did the same thing with the tissue. I just glue it in right here on, the, on my back so it doesn't move. And it's gonna hold all my cards. I like this project very much because and when you ended up with a bunch of cards and you don't know what to put it, you can lose them or just, I don't know. 
I always like to um, organize my cards and put it all the match together and in the same spot. So I don't know, it just helped me be not organized. So with this kit, you get six envelopes that I decorate. Very simple, very easy. Decorate the envelopes. There you go. Okay. And then um, the cards. I'm going to show you. So number one card is this one, the one that comes in your kit. Very easy, very simple to make. Another card that I make, and um, let me see. This one, I use a full card. I didn't do any changes. I just use my tissue paper right here to put it in the background. And it looks pretty cool. And I just use the pens, the pen to use um, to make some stitches. And then decorate my circle in different way. This right here, you have it in your stamp set. Not just like, you can just see it and it's like that. You need to work on it. Like um, the following delight, I used the one on the bottom of my stamp. Can you see it? And Calypso Coral, the little one, I used the end of my Celebrate to make it, you see? And then the Bermuda Bay, I used just the balloon string. Okay, so you can play around with your stamp and make more than what you get that way. So that's how I decorate that card. And the other card that I didn't, uh, this is just a regular card. I just add some um, white card stock. Decorate my balloons with the twine, white twine. If you're a paper packing subscriber, you already own this. So from, I think December, I just took it apart. I just took this um, the silver thing out and I used the white one to for my balloons. And if you don't own this, it's just white twine. No big deal. And you can get it in the stores or stamping up too. And I just um, stamped my happy birthday right there. Okay. Another one that I cut in two was the other card. I cut it in two. And the card goes like this. This is the design paper. Okay, this way. This one was the design paper and this is the blue part. So I cut it to fit in my in my card and I use a Calypso Coral card stock. And I decorate my my circle like a, I think they call it ribbon. And I decorate it this way and then just use the other part right here, like a banner. You see? It's cute. The other part of the card I made and I used Daffle and Delight card stock. I just decorate my balloons and the same with the twine and very simple. And I used my embossing folder to give it some textures on the blue part. Like this. Okay. Another one that is my favorite. This is a Stampin' Up design. I will put the link on the bottom to show you the video where they show us this card that they made. And what it is, is just white card stock. I stamp first the Celebrate stamp on different colors in the background. And I use vellum. It's this paper right here that is, you can see through. I cut it to fit my card and I glue it. I just use my tumble and glue it right on the edges, right here, all the way around. And, and with my marker, I just did the stitches because I'm not really good at sewing on paper. And then and for the confettis, paper, I mean, Stampin' Up! has a confetti, confetti, confetti punch that you can make all this. But if you don't own one like me, what I did, I just used my, oh, what's the name for this? I don't remember. One of these, and I just put some of my cardstock inside and punch it and mine in the back has something that holds so it was holding all my confetti in there so that's another way if you don't own the confetti puncher but now this one is broken so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go buy my <laughs> my confetti puncher and um, and then i just decorate it with the envelope uh, the, um, the balloons and the celebrate and i just use the leftover and design a paper from this card that I made here, and I put it in the back. So you just, I'm just using any uh, leftover paper that I have from one extra project 
to make another one. So there you go. And that one was my favorite. And then with the last two cards, I decided to make um, mini note cards. Because this one will fit in your bag. On your the bag that comes in your kit. It will fit. You can just hang it outside or you can just put it inside the bag. And these are little ones. I used the tissue paper again that I had left over. And the designing paper too. Here's another one. And I just... Um, the what's the name? The string from the balloon to the gray in the background, and this one too, more confetti, and here's another one. Okay, and if you notice, I use the balloon that comes in your kit for your bags, and on this card. So when I'm making, I made my one of my cards was left without a balloon. So what I did, I just use this I just trace it around my um, calypso coral paper and I just cut it around and I made another balloon okay so there you go now my mom has four little note cards that can fit in her um, bag six of these cute little regular size and cards and six envelopes to go with her package so I hope you like it and if you're not a subscriber go ahead subscribe it's only 50% off if you're a new subscriber and if you have any questions about this project please let me know I'm happy to help and some of you already know that I'm really quick responding your uh, requests so here you go thank you for watching have a good day bye Thank you.